Willkommen zurück zu einer neuen Folge von Life is Strange 2. Ah, gucken wir, was wir rauskommen. Das gut läuft irgendwie noch. Wir finden. Shit! Vielleicht noch irgendwie anders. Wir können halt hier ein bisschen rum machen. halt hin und her bewegen, können wir okay. mal. He's okay. He's Daniel must be scared shitless. I can't leave him out there. Hm. Wonder if I could get more light from it. Ja, das wäre eine Idee. Wir da hin an die P äh, Pappröhre. Sehr gut. Bist du jetzt mal weg? Such mal... mal hier rüber. Ja, we get it. You're the perfect Americans. Hoch, jawohl. Diesen verdammten Bär. Daniel? I'm right here. Are are you okay? I, I, I think so. That old guy chased me into the woods. But I, I think I lost him. Is he gone? I'm really, really scared. <laughs> hey, Emmanuel. You're doing great. You totally fooled them. Thanks to you, we have a chance of getting out of here. Yeah? Yeah. We gotta hurry, though. He called the cops on us. Think, dude. There's gotta be a way out of here. There's a window over there. Maybe you can find a way in or something. Klappt das mit dem? Ich weiß, es ist wahrscheinlich besser, durch die Tür zu gehen, ne? It is. But be careful. It might attract him. Wir lesen mal eine Runde Zeitung. I don't even want to think of this asshole reading the same magazines as dad. Ja. Oh, oh, yeah. Sex. This racist shithead is a real pillar of the community, all right. Ehrenwerte Ernest Scheck, stellvertretender Bürgermeister, sehr geehrter Hanks Stamper. Namen der Handelskammer sind für stolz, Ihnen äh, unser Vorzeigebürger und Vorzeigeunternehmen Preis für 2014 zu verleihen. Seit vielen Jahren sind Ihre Leistungen und Großzügigkeit allen Gemeindemitgliedern bekannt. Der, der Ihre Tankstelle besucht hat, hat dasselbe großartige Lächeln und dieselben guten Dienstleistungen erhalten. Das sind über zehn Jahren, in denen viele weitere mit vielen weiteren Jahren in Aussicht. Die Preisverleihung wird am 10. Juni um 14 Uhr statt in der Stadthalle abgehalten werden. Details werden bekannt gegeben, sobald die Planungen abgeschlossen sind. Noch einmal ein persönliches Dankeschön, dass Sie das Haus eingeschildert uns für unsere Handelskammer sind. Erbsten Empfehlungen. Check. Hm. I'm sorry, but you married an asshole. Can you try and open this vent? Könnt ihr vielleicht helfen? Sorry, Sean. Won't move. Don't worry. We'll figure something out. Hin? Yeah, that's what I thought. Fuck. Hm. Zu erwarten. Die Bürotür kriegst du ja nicht auf. Wie wär's mit der Hintertür? So close, but yet too fucking far. Sean. I'm really scared. Don't be. I'm... I'm right here, okay? Just hold tight. Don't run off. Hey, you think you can open the back door? I don't know. Wenn komplett durchrennen wird da nichts. Wer weiß, wie noch haben die das auch noch. Dass es abgesperrt ist. 
Ja gut, es bleibt aber sonst nichts anderes übrig. Okay. Looks like he's gone for now. I don't know. Let me think. Hey, the old guy's gone. M maybe you can enter from the store door. Das wäre halt ein ziemlicher Weg. Als ob die nicht noch irgendwelche Kameras oder so da drin haben. Hoffentlich geht der Bildschirmschuh ja nicht gleich wieder an. Ganze Arbeit umsonst gewesen. Fuck. Why did I put us in this situation? Oh, shit. Okay. Also auch nicht. Schlüssel. Of course the fucking keys are all the way over there. Hallo, Roa. Right. I need some... Okay, Daniel. I see some keys, but I can't reach them. Maybe I can get them if I can pry this pipe off the wall. Can you find some kind of tool out there? I don't know where one is. Um, yeah. I, I think I saw a big file thing in the workshop. With all those bear sculptures, I know you can find it. Okay. I'll try. Genau, das könnte funktionieren. Und dann vielleicht auch die Fesseln loskriegen. Hm? Weil es ist hier on, nichts, dass er sie durchschieben kann. This is it. You rule, Daniel. Sehr gut. Come on. Let's do this. So, eine Runde A. Na. Yes. Good job, bro. Okay. Ja, besser als nichts. Ja, yep, kriegen wir hin. Come on, you mother. Yes. Score. Super, wir haben die Schlüssel. Werfen die ja durchs Fenster durch. Hier, hier. Oder so. Come on. Okay. Hold on. Come on. Yes. Sean. Oh God. I was so scared. What happened to your face? That old bastard happened. Okay, we need to cut this off, fast. How about these? Dude, you rock. Did that asshole see you? No way. I'm invisible. Yeah, you are. Okay. Now we gotta get my stuff and go. Daniel, what, what happened? What? What did you do? I, I don't know. I don't know what happened. It's okay. You're safe now. Dann nehmen wir die Campingausrüstung mit. You fucking little spick. You and your brother are going to jail for the rest of your life. The hell with you. Come on. 
Come on! Wait! Shit! Where are we going? Sean! Watch out! Over there! Let's go! I don't know! Whoa, whoa, what are you doing out here, man? You almost scared the shit out of me! You guys okay? I don't look okay. That asshole! At the gas station! We're fucking crazy! He tied me up in his back office! I swear! Dude, say no more, I believe you, okay? It's crazy out in the woods. Get in, you too. Hurry up before he catches us. And I thought I was having a shitty day. I knew that guy was sketchy. Did he mess with you too? He started to earlier, but I bought too much stuff just to piss him off. Welcome to Redneck Land. This ain't Seattle no more. Yeah. My dad said there are more Bigfoots out here than Mexicans. No doubt. People out here are more scared of you and your little brother. This is nuts. Well, don't let it phase you, little dude. You're going to meet some amazing people on the road, too. <coughs> What's under the blanket? Come on, I'm not stupid. Daniel. What? We <laughs> saved her. We're heroes. Yeah, guess we are. <laughs> so, what should her name be? Hey, your dog, your choice. Oh, cool. Let's see. Um, mm, how about. Mushroom. She totally looks like a mushroom. Yeah, that's pretty cool. <laughs> Not much of a girl's name, though. Who cares? I'm sure she loves it. So do I. <laughs> All right. Mushroom it is, then. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. Thanks, big brother. See, Mushroom, you got the best name ever now. <laughs> mushroom. <laughs> <laughs> nice! Yeah, I feel like I just witnessed history. You're on your way to becoming official road warriors, my dudes. <laughs> Sounds like you've been on the road for a long time. Long, boring story short, I come from a family with money, but no soul. I took off after school and never looked back. Now I write stories for zines and websites, do podcasts, protests, try to make some positive change. Yeah, whatever. Wow. So you're like all political. Everything is political, Sean. So, 
How do you make money? <laughs> Spoken like a real American. <laughs> Just curious. Now that we're urban nomads too, if you have any tips. I sell shit. Like a good capitalist. Stories when I can. eBay when I can't. My biggest expense is gas and food, so it's easy. Hmm. Hey, no matter what, I just try not to get cynical. Otherwise, uh... I'd be like my family. End of the day, we have to watch out for each other, right? Yeah, you did watch out for us. Thank you. Seriously. <laughs> Looks like your brother crashed hard. Oh, good. He always goes right to sleep in cars. Yeah, and feel free to do the same. I won't take it personally. What about you? You okay to drive? Oh, yeah. This is my favorite time to drive. Traveling by night is kind of mysterious. Man, look at that. Oregon is like the edge of the world. Hmm. Hey, listen. I know what happened with you guys in Seattle. Do you want to talk about it? I'm a good listener. It's your call, no pressure. I... I don't even know what happened. It was so fast. It was all my fault. Dan wanted to play zombie and... Of course I told him to get lost and... Our asshole neighbor was picking on him, and I freaked out. So Dad came out to help. Somebody called the cops, and... They killed my dad in front of me. It's all my fucking fault. All I had to do was play with Daniel, and Dad would still be alive. I fucked up my whole family, and now we're alone. <laughs> hey, it's gonna be all right. Take a deep breath. Listen, it's not your fault. You don't have control over all this stuff. You can't blame yourself for everything that happens in this world. 
You're gonna be okay, Sean. How? My life feels like... Like that town down there. Wiped out. Destroyed. Empty. Like I have nothing. What is sure is, that's the past. But you can't look back now. You've got each other. And you have to move forward. Why? You may not see it, but what you and your brother have is the most important thing. He needs you. And you need him. I can tell he doesn't know what happened. Sean, at some point, you're gonna have to tell him. I can't. Isn't it better if he doesn't know? If I found out, he's gonna find out. Better he hears it from you. I wish I could change everything back. So none of it ever happened. I... I just don't know what to say. But I'll try. So then, what's your plan? Where are you going? Good question. I was thinking... Get out of the country? Fuck it. Go down to Mexico, you know? <laughs> Damn. I thought I was the long-haul traveler. Should I go back? To Seattle? Maybe I can try and explain everything. What happened? You should do what you think is best. If going to Mexico seems like the right thing to do, then so be it. You're going in the right direction. You have family there? Maybe. We don't even have family in the U.S. Except for grandparents we don't see anymore. What about your mom? No, no way. She's... out of the picture. But Dad, he always talked about this plot of land he owns in this little coast town, Puerto Lobos. That's a pretty cool name. So it's gotta be great. Okay, so you've still got a long ways to go. We've shot the shit long enough. Time to hit the road. Na dann, vielen Dank fürs Zuschauen. Ich hoffe, ihr hattet Spaß. Seid beim nächsten Mal wieder mit dabei. Bis dahin. Macht's gut und ciao, ciao. In a couple of hours. You guys could use some time to yourselves.